Jefferson. Little tension brewing here just before halftime. Antoine Walker hits the jumper. Dikembe Mutombo and Vin Baker get into each other's faces. Yeah, that's the bad blood Don referred to just a moment ago, adding a little hate. Watch this. <laughs> yeah, I got a foul, baby. And they were very aggressive defending Mutombo, who was held to nine points. They held Mahmoud Abdul Rauf to 12 as well. Hayton, who had 20. Knocked it in. Iverson coming back and missing the offensive rebound by Mutombo. Easy, now, easy. And he's got to be restrained as easily. He won't give up the ball. Tempers is short here. Yes, see, Antonio Davis wanted to take the ball out of his hand. Technical foul. And you know what was going to happen sooner or later. Matumbo really going at the officials. Well, it's the frustration. It's, it's the frustration of the fact that Toronto definitely on fire. And also, Matumbo is working so hard. And he is not being rewarded with any type of shot attempts at the other end. Well, Iverson taking the free throw, so the technical foul could not have been on to Kemby Matumbo. Here it is again, and it was on Antonio Davis. Davis for knocking the ball away from Matumbo. Matumbo was arguing, but Davis with the act. Handles the ball outside. Double team, they'll skip it to Matumbo. Where's Rodney Rogers? He's over there banging around with Vinny Askew. Williams to Brian Williams. In low to Matumbo, a cut into the lane. Then he comes over, goes chest to chest with Askew. Then Detlef Tripp comes over with some words from Matumbo. Now Brian Williams steps out slowly at that trip and Nate McMillan will walk in between those two. Dedlin is still drawn. I'd say Matumbo just doesn't get the playoffs yet. He, every time he got bumped the other night, he was complaining. <laughs> it's not personal, big fella. That's just the way it's played this time of year. No freebies. This is not a layup line. The technical foul has been called on Denver's number 55. Technical foul on Dikembe Mutombo. Man, he bit hook, line, and sinker. He was goaded into the technical foul. For their next two games. <laughs> Meanwhile, Darko Milicic, part of that defense. A rare appearance early. He got Dikembe Mutombo mad. And he got him even madder. <laughs> week for LeBron James who turned 20 on Thursday night after breaking his bone in Cleveland's game against the Rockets took a Dikembe Mutombo elbow to the head broken bone in his face so now all eyes on Charlotte Monday when the phenom will take on the appearance of the Phantom of the Operas LeBron James now fitted for a mask demonstration with that nice pass off Matumbo against Cummings. Cummings talking to Matumbo as he goes across the lane and it pushes him and there's going to be a technical foul on Cummings. Cummings was mad at something prior to that. He picks up the technical in addition to the personal foul. By the way Cummings is reacting, John, it's evident that he felt Matumbo did something to him first. Well, it seems that he certainly lost his pool, and he's explaining it now to the official. He's talking right before that. He was talking to him as Matumbo made his move. Matumbo getting a little dramatic there. Well, yeah, watch him talk now. Right there, he starts talking to him. Well, all I'm seeing is Cummings pushing him around. And then <laughs> Cummings loses his pool. The temptation with a guy like Matumbo is to beat up on him because he's so tall and skinny. And from the experience I've seen uh, with other than Patrick, the Knicks have been very physical with him. So he takes a pretty good beating when he plays against the Knicks. You wonder what happened maybe down the other end of the floor. Yet it didn't appear that Tumble did anything right here. Well, he's, being, he's being pushed there from behind. He starts his move and then Cummings knocks him down. Cummings is not the type of player who gets involved in those type of things on a regular basis by any means. But he's very physical. Right, absolutely. And as is Matumbo with his elbows. But Cummings, you've got to think of a better way to to respond than to play with a new season high for points and a half. More importantly, they lead by 11. And a foul call on Larry Johnson. Well, Larry Johnson treated Matumbo like a rag doll on that play, just threw him to the floor. They don't have the energy. Certainly not the first half. That's been called a flagrant foul on Larry Johnson. And it's Salvatore explaining. The Tumbo will get the two shots, plus the Hawks will get the ball. 
crowd delights in the tumbles miss, but they call it a flagrant foul. Well, the feeling, I guess, is to push Matumbo around, but it's giving him time at the foul line. And it's Salvatore, very definitive, very authoritative in explaining his decision. Johnson will sit down. Two fouls. Let's take a look. The right side of your screen. He just shoved him with a forearm. Yes, uh, Larry Johnson. Very physical response to Matumbo. That's the second nick to get involved in a response to Matumbo. Rick Hazard blocks the scene right after halftime. Steve Smith throwing the towel playfully at Chris Childs. Patrick Ewing wagging his finger at his good buddy Nikembe Matumbo as the teams have some fun with each other. Now last time these two teams played in New York, Matumbo was a non-factor in the game because in the first quarter, he took a shot in the lip and had eight stitches in his lip and as a result, only played 14 minutes in the game, did not score, did not rebound. Starks, the pass to Larry Johnson. The Tumbo's presence alters Johnson's thinking, and a technical foul has been called against the Tumbo. The Tumbo is broken up, broken up with laughter. Wonder if it's a taunting technical. Of course, that finger wagging has been part of Matumbo's repertoire. He wants to get an explanation from Bennett Salvatore, and he just agreed. Uh, and I think it is taunting. You see, come on, come at me, come at me. And that's taunting tech guy. You know, I like to see that call. That's the type of stuff that gets players upset. And it, it starts guys getting their, their blood boiling. It can have problems. Now, what he's doing here, that's to the crowd. That's not at a player. That's allowed. Well, people were yelling it out. That's become his uh, symbol of his defensive excellence, which uh, Patrick Ewing is amused by. They are very close. Ewing was in the Hawks' locker room before the game quite a while, visiting with his pal. Now Steve Smith guarding Chris Childs. Mookie Blaylock got Allen Houston, and Patrick Ewing taking a swipe at the Kevin the tumble. Did not like the hand check and called for a foul. Well, another one of those long Georgetown relationships like Alonzo Mourning. Whenever these three play against each other, traditionally it's been uh, a happy competitive situation. But uh, we saw with Mourning and Ewing, it was very intense in their earlier meetings. And now tonight, Ewing starts off pretty tough. Who's Hawks trail the next 15-13 because he's going against a power forward number one, number two in Charles Oakley, a player who he's had his tussles with. Uh, I'm going to try to come and try to challenge him and my best today and uh, don't try to let myself discourage by all a lot of things that he'd like to do on me and uh, that's what I'm looking for and uh, I know that they uh, like the shoving, the throwing a ball and push you around and uh, don't let you get the easy basket but uh, I'm going to try and come out play like in the same intensity that I played with yesterday and uh, don't let nothing discourage me. Any finger waving from you in his direction, possibly tonight? Oh yeah, yeah. You don't, <laughs> you don't have to forget about that. Definitely, when it will be a block, there will be a finger wave. And a technical. Although he didn't get the technical for finger waving, more of "Come on, let's go." But he did receive a taunting technical earlier. Well, Dikembe better remember because one more technical, and he's in the locker room early again. Two technicals for a player means automatic ejection. Although official can toss a player on the first technical. Kind of taking his time, gets the screen with Matumbo on him. Baseline fadeaway jumper, MJ couldn't get it. Rebound block. Uh -oh. Judd Butcher got it to Michael. Yeah, he up and he'll go to the line with a half <laughs> second left. Judd Butcher saved it. <laughs> Judd, he just looked at the bit. Can I do my job? He just now, came in the game. Michael and Dikembe Matumbo kind of got some words going back and forth now. Matumbo with some pretty strong words for MJ. There it is. Now watch Judley. He just taps it back uh, out to Michael. Michael gives a little fake here, goes up, takes the shot. And is that Steve Smith that picks up the phone? Michael hits that. Smith with two. Leitner's got three. Corbin's got one. The tumble with one. 0.5 seconds. Watch the long pass, I would say. So you got to get the tumble onto the basket, right? Nope. Smith linked to the floor. The Just hustle there. Inside Michael with Matumbo on him. MJ underneath. Yeah. Got it. 
Couldn't go up on the side. Matumbo was, but gave it that extra reach out. Flipped it off the glass. Michael Tarr. Before the arm when he's facing him. Here's Michael goes around Matumbo. He's got to stretch way out to keep it away from him. Right, and so since Corbin was the guy that uh, Matumbo shot one, made one, missed one. Michael within the corner makes the move, goes around, hook shot, no, but a foul call. And Don Smith or is that on the big Matumbo? That's on the Kempe. And Matumbo still talking to Michael. Michael shakes his head and walks away. <laughs> Leitner leaves. Michael will get a pair. Whoa. The key with the step. Nice play. And the tempo is taken down. The foul is called. Sixers want a flagrant. The officials discussing it. Ross can ill afford another injury. Dribble penetration. Here comes Shaq. Horace Grant comes over, takes the hard foul. And as the referees talk it over, we'll have to figure out whether or not it's a flagrant. But when you get inside, again, here comes the defense. Slow on the reaction is Rick Fox. Tumbo goes hard to the basket and gets the foul. So it appears that it's only going to be a two-shot foul, not a foul. Le top contreur, le Zarianois francophone, Dikembe Mutombo. Presque quatre contre par match. Not tonight, baby. And better than six different shot clock and game clock. That's a pass to Swift. His shot was blocked by Matumbo. The fans want a goal then. Blocked again by Matumbo. And the Rockets come up with it with 14 seconds left. And a technical foul on UB Brown. And Tony Baroni, one of his assistant coaches, comes out to get him. He said, look, no need to get you tossed tonight. Kimbe Matumbo has four blocks in the game. He got two on that play. Matumbo with the two blocks goes over 3,000, and that's fourth all-time in NBA history. But what QB is really upset about, he thought both of them were goaltenders. The ball uh, was up and on the way down, and Matumbo got a piece of it coming from underneath. Mike Miller comes in and he just disrupted that one. This one they thought, no, that's not good. Swift gets it back. And Matumbo says, you know what? Some of you guys better learn my name. D. <laughs> D stands for defense for the Rockets. And that's one of the reasons Jeff Van Gundy picked him up. Uh, you look at yeah, the guys at the, uh, one of the four guys with 3,000 or more blocks in his career with three. UB Brown walks off. He's uh, got a technical foul in this first half. And uh, coming up at halftime uh, after these messages. Well, UB Brown fired up as the half comes to an end. I'm not sure who he's angry with, but likely the guys he's going to the locker room with. His team is down 41 to 38. John Saunders, Tim Lake. got hit in the uh, contact between he and Matumbo took a shot to the lip Oakley is bleeding and is being attended to by Nick assistant trainer Tim Walsh and 
Gundy just keeps saying it over and over again. That's a bad call. That's a bad call. Meanwhile, Smith hits the three free throws for his 12th, 13th, and 14th points. Oakley coming over to double team. Matumbo is called, and it appeared that Oakley just had his. 83 77. Oh, nice. Spencer. And Matumbo comes over. Spencer. Took the brunt of that. He's seeing stars. Well, Spencer sets this screen for this time it's uh, Spreewell comes off and there he is wide open when the guards are in motion and running that hard and coming off the center uh, usually you get good results and Spencer will have to go to the free throw line and they have to go out of the game yeah, yeah, yeah. I think they he may be hard. cut just above the left eye it appears yes indeed he is bleeding no, no. ACC Women's Tournament, college basketball. You'll see both semifinal games beginning. And which is really a situation for them because he has to uh, shoot his free throws. If he cannot shoot them, then he would have to leave the ball game. So they really want him to shoot his free throws and to remain eligible to stay in the ball game. Harry the Hawk, uh, a little bit of difficulty up there. Let's take a look at tonight's Jeep Eagle NBA leaders. <laughs> 